welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm super duper excited to be counting down hygiene tips that you need to know right now so without further ado let's just hop right into the video what i have for you guys is to avoid tight clothes and tight underwear you do not want to find out what happens to you when you wear tight clothes and tight underwear you have to have your downstairs area have a place to breathe okay so try to avoid tight clothes and tight underwear the second tip that i have for you guys is to take vitamins i know some people are just like listen if it ain't broke i'm not gonna do anything to fix it okay so i completely understand that notion if that's something that you you know abide by then abide by it like you have free will and a choice but for me personally i do not drink a lot of pineapple juice nor do i eat a lot of cranberries i do have cranberries in my diet but not a lot and i don't even drink cranberry juice that often so something to keep my urinary tract on point is i take these vitamins right here these are the ozzy cranberry um vitamins these are the soft gel ones and i'll be honest with you guys i used to take the smaller one i prefer the smaller one but because this one is long like it lasts longer i just got this one so if you're somebody who can incorporate cranberries and pineapple juice or cranberry juice and all those things into your diet, then I say go ahead. As for me, I like to just grab a vitamin and go. I also like to take my multivitamin a day because that helps me stay on track and healthy as well and helps me get in the minerals that I need when I'm not eating those things. Third tip that I have on my list for feminine hygiene tips that you need to know right now is to keep wipes on you. I know that you guys have seen these wipes on my channel numerous of times or me talking about the company honeypot numerous of times but make sure that you keep wipes on you it does not have to be the honeypot wipes there is another wipes i think it's called cornell cornell cornelli i don't know i'll put like a picture up here for you guys to see but i also really really love those wipes as well and they do have like travel size or on the go packs as well carry wipes with you sometimes that dry you know what toilet tissue ain't gonna do nothing and plus it's very important to also bring wipes with you because it's very dangerous out there and i don't want to get like delve into what i'm about to say but please 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 make sure you bring wipes as well because sometimes public bathrooms can be very risky and i'm gonna leave it at that okay so bring your wipes with you the fifth tip that i have for you guys when it comes to feminine hygiene tips that you need to know right now is to drink water your body is made out of a significantly amount of water and you need to replenish your body especially when you're somebody who you do a lot of sweating you're constantly peeing and secreting all of that stuff out of you you need to replenish back some of that water back into your body for the health of your body okay drinking a lot of water is so beneficial i also want to branch on drinking more water eat some healthy foods there was a dietitian recently who said something so amazing and i have to share it with you guys i am somebody who does not believe in diets i feel like diets are super toxic i believe in creating a healthier lifestyle right and this dietitian says instead of going on a diet and subtracting every damn thing that's bad for you how about you stick to your same lifestyle and instead of subtracting why don't you add and a great example that i can come up with to share with you guys is if you know you like carbs in the morning like you like to have toast that is just something that you have to have top it with some healthy fats like avocado and top it with some tomatoes so instead of getting rid of carbs across the board you're just adding healthy stuff to make it healthy and i feel like that was such good good great advice so guys focus on eating a lot of healthier stuff make sure that you're incorporating some healthy greens some healthy minerals some healthy things into your diet because that can really really help even the way that you smell like you can really tell a difference when you use the bathroom the sixth tip that i have for you guys is to make sure that you are keeping up with your doctor's appointments slash gynecologist appointments this is very important not only for your feminine hygiene but as well as your just overall health you want to make sure that you're making those appointments to make sure that you are getting the exams that you need to get while watching a lot of videos and informing yourself and reading online is great it is very important to make those appointments for yourself when 
you get your annual pap smear and your mammogram and all the other things and exams that you need to take and make sure that you're good, you end up feeling much more better about yourself and not constantly having to worry about that. So make sure that you are making those appointments. Also, when you do see something wrong, make sure you head to those appointments. You don't wanna wait, but if you do see something wrong, make those appointments. It's better to catch the problem faster, the earlier, the better. The seventh tip that I have on my list is to monitor your body. We spend way too much time on autopilot, okay? Constantly going to school and going to work and doing both and doing hobbies and talking to friends and having a significant other. We have been on autopilot. A lot of us don't even know that we're on autopilot. We're not even mindful of the present time that we're in. So sometimes, you know, we neglect ourselves even if it's not on purpose. Like it's not intentional that we do that. Sometimes we do neglect ourselves. It's very important that you are monitoring your body if you wash in your skin one day and you see a little lump book that appointment make sure you're checking your shoulder and around this area like around the breast area and i know this could be uncomfortable for some people to like see and hear about but make sure that you're checking like during like your showers even when you're lotioning yourself be mindful of your skin your skin is a clear indication that something is wrong with you when your skin is yellow or when it's red your skin can tell you a lot so make sure you're monitoring your skin looks the way that it usually does there's no lumps there's no nothing you're doing your checking your shoulders to see if there's anything out of the ordinary monitor your body that goes for your downstairs area as well as bowel movements make sure that you are monitoring the hell out of that okay let's say you pee the color of your urine can tell you a lot of what you need to do even when you're taking a chart a number two whatever you guys call it even the way that comes out of your body is a telltale sign if it takes way too long for you to use the bathroom you're constipated if it you know moves more fast than out of you you're intaking a lot of fiber which is good believe it or not your body will tell you everything you need to know about yourself your body sends signals out to you hey i need more of this hey i need less of that think about it like this when you eat a lot of carrots and you turn orange what is the best way to reduce that to stop eating carrots your body is literally pushing out the color of orange to say hey slow up on the slow up on the carrots okay so your body before you get sick your body screams at you and then it just turns sick because it's tired of screaming at you so make sure that you are monitoring your freaking body okay so guys that's all that i have in regards to feminine hygiene tips that i have for you guys let me know down in the comments what are some things that you already know that's on this list what are some feminine hygiene tips that you swear by and yeah let me know how you guys enjoyed this video as well as hit the like button comment down below and don't forget to smash that like button and i'll catch you guys in the next one